Hey everyone, I'm Dan Spade, and as we gear up for another school year, today I'm going to show you how to use the new Google Classroom add-ons. Google for Education just announced a huge update to Google Classrooms. Google Classrooms will now have add-ons. These add-ons will allow teachers to be able to use some of their favorite ed tech tools without ever having to leave Google Classroom. Today I'm going to show you how to use these new add-ons. So once your district administrator has enabled Google Classroom add-ons, you'll find a new add-ons button in your assignment and stream screens. Once you click on that add-ons button, you will see all of the add-ons that your district administrator has enabled and installed directly below the button. So currently right here, I don't have anything installed, but it will look like this once you have some installed. Now currently within the early access program, educators will have access to 18 different ed tech tools. And as more are added, they'll be added to the Google Workspace Marketplace. District administrators will be able to either search for different Google Classroom add-ons to see if some of their favorite ed tech tools are available, or they can click on the menu on the left side here and just browse to see what's either recommended or what's the most popular or some of the top rated, or they can just click on the categories and browse that way. And as I mentioned, one of the great benefits of this is being able to use some of the most popular ed tech tools in the world right within Google Classroom. So now you'll be able to do things like creating trivia games from Kahoot right in Classroom, or you can use your Pear Deck presentations right within Google Classroom. Another really great benefit to the Google Classroom add-ons is teachers and students will now be able to save a lot of time with a one-click login. I know from personal experience that one of the biggest challenges using all different types of tools is the students trying to remember all those passwords. So now they'll be able to access all of those different tools right within Google Classroom so they won't have to remember all those different passwords. And as a teacher, you can also have more confidence knowing that they're not uh, out there on multiple sites with different tabs and all that. They'll be able to do a lot of this work right within Google Classroom. One of the greatest benefits to teachers is they'll now be able to simplify their grading workflow. So to make everything easier, Google Classroom add-ons have integrated time-saving features like auto-grading, insights, and grade syncing. There's also various add-ons that provide the opportunity to grade right within Classroom and include that personalized feedback when sharing a grade back with students. All the add-ons sync with Google Classroom Gradebook too. And as you'll see from the example I'm showing you here, this is from CK12. And the CK12 add-on lets you create interactive assignments, track class performance across assignments, see auto-graded results, and view insights that show concept level performance patterns and actionable recommendations for each student. And even though I'm biased because I work as a program manager for CK12, CK12 is one of my absolute favorite tools in the entire world. I love that it's free to teachers and it has some of the best math and science content uh, out there. So if you haven't checked out CK12, now is a great time to start exploring with that tool. To get started with the Google Classroom add-ons, a district admin will need to set this up and can then enable access for the educators. This is only available to districts that have the Google Workspace for Education Plus edition or the teaching and learning upgrade assigned to each educator they want to have access to add-ons. And as I mentioned in the beginning, once your admin has added those in, you will see which Google Classroom add-ons you have access to by simply clicking on the add-ons button and they'll be displayed right here. So this is truly a very exciting update from Google for Education. And if you want to learn more about Google Classroom add-ons, please make sure to check the description below where I have several links to different materials that you can use either for yourself or you can share with teachers in your school, district, or just other teachers that you know that might benefit from it. Also, please make sure to share this video with other teachers so that they can learn about Google Classroom add-ons as well. And if you haven't already subscribed to the EdTech Show, please click on that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so that you get notified every time there's a new video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.